All right. Hello, happy Monday, Hornets. I hope that you had a really great weekend. Um, we are here on Hispanic Heritage Day, Spirit Day. I have my um, my Hispanic Heritage earrings and my clothing mm -hmm. today from Mexico, and I hope that you had a really great day celebrating. Here are the announcements for today, Monday, October 12th. Hola, feliz lunes a todos los estudiantes. Estamos eh, celebrando la, el mes de la hispanidad. Así es de que estamos um, celebrando con nuestros aretes que no me los traje ahora y las flores y los vestidos bonitos de los hispanohablantes. So the first thing we want to say is congratulations to teachers, to students, to families for um, completing MAP testing. We had about a 99.8% completion rate. We're, we still have one little little test to go, but overall, what a great job, everyone. Miss Gallo, thank you so much for your efforts in contacting families at night and bringing families on campus to finish their test if they couldn't. Um, couldn't um, make their connection work. So we did a great job and we're excited to see the results and set goals for November. Mm -hmm. Felicidades a todos los estudiantes de segundo, tercero, cuarto y quinto que han completado sus exámenes de math en lectura y en matemáticas. Fel felicidades a los padres y a los hermanos mayores que ayudaron a nuestros estudiantes a subirse al examen que es muy difícil a la larga distancia. Así es de que queremos honorarlos a todos ustedes y esperar cómo salieron los resultados para empezar a mejorar nuestro uh, aprendizaje para el otoño y para el invierno. So, quick reminder, Drive for Schools continues until um, October 23rd. So, families, thank you so much for selling those tickets. All proceeds are going to go to supporting our new marquee out front, and um, those are due on Friday the 23rd back at school. Gracias a todos por vender boletos de Driver Schools para la rifa y queremos usar los fondos para tener un letrero nuevo en frente de la escuela para poder comunicarnos visualmente con nuestras familias. And picture day. So parents, if you're watching and students, I have want to share the, the notice that we sent out earlier this week. So we are having picture day and we want to um, give students the opportunity to, to remember this special year of school and we want to get your updated picture for your records as well. Um, so next week we're having three picture days and those are listed here on Tuesday, when, uh, Thursday and Friday. So, um, kiddos, we want you to come within your time block. So, for example, the first time block here is Tuesday, October 13th from 1 to 3.30. The students in these classes will come any time during these blocks. So, you do not need to all come together. In fact, we are not taking a group picture. We're having kids come in one at a time. In the cafeteria, just the front of the cafeteria, very quickly, take the picture and then exit out the side door. So it's going to be very quick. Um, we want to make sure that you have your masks. Um, everybody should have your masks, and we have these for sale if you would like to buy them for $8. Um, we want to be spread apart six feet, standing six feet apart at all times and not coming together to talk to each other because we want to keep this to be um, as safe as possible for you and your families. And if they have brothers and sisters in other classes, is it okay to have brothers and sisters? That's fine. They can take their picture at the same time. So good question. Parents, you do not have to make two trips. You can have, bring in both of the kids at the same time, and we'll take their picture. Uh, sí, queremos anunciar de que vamos a tener nuestra día de, nuestro día de fotos. Vamos a tener tres días de tomar fotos, y tenemos un bloque de tiempo para ciertas maestras. Muy importante de traer sus máscaras, muy importante de mantener su distancia social. Vamos a venir aquí a la escuela durante su bloque de tiempo, y vamos a tomarse la foto rapiditamente en la cafetería y salir por la otra puerta para no tener um, muchas conversaciones ni juntarnos. Es muy importante mantener la, la distancia social. Si tiene un hijo en una clase y a otro hijo en otra clase, puede venir nomás una vez y traerse toda la familia y retratarse rapidito así para no tener que venir dos veces. 
pero por favor mantengan el bloque de tiempo de uno de sus maestros, de sus hijos, uh, para tomarse su foto. And um, also a reminder that um, we, I'm sorry, somebody walked in and I just lost my train of thought. Um, oh, this will be posted on our school website too if your parents need to access this note. Y vamos a tener esta nota en la página de AJ High para si necesitan mirar la información. Um, payment for pictures, Miss Hopkins. So um, you will be receiving a packet um, on distribution day with all the ordering information, or you will have it emailed to you if you have an email in our system. Okay, vamos a mandar por correo electrónico esta información para que paguen por sus fotos si quieren comprarlas. Y si no, vamos a tenerlas uh, durante nuestra distribución el lunes de las 8 a las 10 de la mañana y de las 3 y media a las 5 y media de la tarde para que vengan a recoger su información para pagar por sus fotos. And lastly, we're going to be organizing our first live stream assembly. We're hoping for uh, October 23rd, the Surfing Magician will be here at H.A. Hyde live streaming um, to all the students, uh, likely on a Friday afternoon. So be on the lookout for information on that. Muy divertido. Vamos a tener nuestra primera asamblea y vamos a tener un magio, un mágico, que va a estar aquí, el Surfing Magician, y va a tener... Uh, sus, sus trucos mágicos aquí en la escuela y ustedes los pueden mirar por la pantalla. Así es de que va a ser muy divertido. Quizás al fin de octubre escuchen la fecha y el tiempo para que miren esta asamblea muy bonita. And Miss Gaio, we've had a lot of students showing up and shining and keeping their cameras on um, during instruction. And we know that not everybody has the ability to have their camera on um, or feels comfortable to do so, but we're really encouraging anyone who can to please show up and shine during instruction because it really is easier for teachers to teach you, to communicate with you, and to see what you're doing with your work. So we have a lot of students, all of these students in Ms. Angiano's class are showing up and shining. All of these students in Ms. Geiger's class are showing up and shining. And teachers are reporting um, their students um, that are showing up and shining on this document. And we will share that every week. So I just wanted to show those names. Uh -huh. Tenemos algo nuevo que mencionamos la otra semana que estamos mirando a los estudiantes que vengan a su clase y brillen. Y hemos notado que muchos de los niños están prendiendo sus cámaras y están participando en sus clases. Y es mucho más fácil para los maestros enseñarles a los niños si les ven sus caritas bonitas para ayudarles con su aprendizaje, si están confundidos o si necesitan explicación. Así es que estamos viendo que todos los niños prendan sus cámaras. Y así podemos mirar su aprendizaje y ayudarlos mucho mejor. And last but not least, we want to recognize our students, all of our students for showing Hyde Pride this last week. Look at, we have so many, I mean, over 300 so far this year. So let's read some of these off. We've got Alexander, Crystal, Denise, Landon, Juan B, Andres, Delila, Emmanuel, Joshua, Nate, and Denise showing determination, high expectations, and integrity in Mrs. Livingston's class. Ms. Anguiano has Union, 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 I love that name, Union. Maria Fatima, Cynthia, Daniela, Carlos, and Adrian, Alexa, Alexandra, Isabella, Jalen, and Gayla, and Brian, and Evelyn showing integrity, and this is Integrity Month, so that's what we wanna see. Mateo, Dos veces in Ms. Garcia Monge's class, respect and high expectations. Guadalupe, Jocelyn, Camila, jo uh, Jocelyn again, Jose in Ms. Garcia Monge's class. We have Brian and Edgar and Allison and Allison twice. Uh, not surprising, Angel, Martha, Priscilla, Angela, Adrian, Maggie, Karina, Yarela, Graciela, David, and Ariel. Yeah. Contact the office. Contact the office. David Merino in Miss Salazar's class. Arlette in Miss Salazar's class for high expectations. David in uh, for determination. Martha, Denise, Ashley, Victor, Yetzali, Milo, Azalea, 
Bradley, Jose in Ms. Fernandez's class, Samantha, Jose again, Milo, Emma, Samantha, Bradley in Ms. Fernandez's class, William, Jose, Eliana, Anissa, Peter, Milo, Yaretzi, Bradley, Yuneri, Adlet, Yolanda, David, Lindsay, Sergio, Mackenzie, Danny, Mila, Liam, Daphne, and Lucy. Um, great job showing our high pride. We also have Alan, Brian, Brianna, Camila, Ada, Kimberly, Matias, Jaden, Alexander, Aaron, Ava, Emiliano, Dominic, Roger, Adriel, Alia, Angie, Damian, Elizabeth, Mia, and Maya, our twins, Christina, Edgar, Emily, Evelyn, Heidi, Jacqueline, Jesus, Liza, Valerie, Jimena, Saul, from Ms. Sanchez's class. Congratulations to you guys for showing up and shining and doing great, wonderful things at, at HA Hyde. Wow, let's give them a big round of applause. That was amazing, so many students. Yes. Hornets, have a wonderful week of learning. We will see you next week. Have a good weekend. Don't forget to show up and shine.